with people so they can't see us. Welcome to the FSCC Overwatch stream. Uh, we apologize today that we um, we're currently having a few issues with the uh, camera, so you will not be seeing our faces today. But we will get you the gameplay and we'll have the audio to go with it for today. Um, we're having our match today against the uh, Barton Community College for our Varsity Overwatch. They're all rocking the same emblem. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we should get started here in a few minutes, and it should make for a good day. This is week six in Overwatch right now. Let me know if there's any issues you guys see the stream. I'm currently running the stream by myself today, so we'll see how smoothly it runs. So far, so good. Uh, with Varsity Overwatch today, we're doing a, a best of five, so first to win three. Oh, Jesus, not bad. Yeah, it looks like uh, we'll get our map situated here in a few minutes. Jeez. Good old spam before the game starts. Looks like we're uh, starting with Elios. This map is all about uh, control points, so there'll be no pushing the payload for this first game. With this uh, actual map, though, it's pretty uh, small right into the battle, which is something cool about this map. You can see a lot of... Uh, Action right off the bat. And there's not really much to do. You get a team wipe and the other team can get back to you in like 30, 40 seconds. So it's not like getting wiped is the end of the game on this map. We got one viewer. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Well, I have faith you can get me patched back up now. I can hear a little bit of the audio coming from the monitor, so let me know if there's any echo for any of you guys. Alright. Like we're starting with, uh... Mercy and, uh, Moira for our heals. Pushing on the uh, left side to start the game. Junkrat off by himself over there made it for easy pickings. Good kill on the Anna by Reaper. And you got the uh, Tracer left. The one's always the hardest one to kill, seems like. Good start for FCC. Diva already at 65% ult charge is pretty nice. Fire Turtle switching to uh, Regatti. See how many times I can botch her name in different ways to upset the team. That Ryan. We got Moira ult off here. Getting some really good damage in. Ooh. 
Sigma saving from the Earth Shatter. Gosh, this map just reminds me too much of Capture the Flag, and I hate it. <laughs> Eva having her uh, ult here, that could be a really good way to stop them from getting a push on us for sure. Issue if their team is them. Ooh. Reaper getting right on top of all those tanks. I think it's a 4k right there. Team wipe. Looking pretty good for the first game. We got three viewers here right now. Thank you for everyone uh, tuning in. Uh, like I said before at the beginning of the stream, we're having some camera issues, so fortunately you won't see any casters today. Um, but we do have the audio. Hopefully. I don't even know if the audio works. <laughs> We got a Junkrat ult here. Don't know where it went. Diva ult. That was a really good ult push. The uh, Diva ult actually ran everyone off the point, allowing them to get back into uh, McCree's, uh, I want to say golden gun, but I know that's not it. <laughs> but. Right now, it's looking like this round's a uh, 1 0 FSCC. I know. This is all Greek to me. Yeah! Let's move it, people! Five, four, three, two, one. Round. Yeah, for the uh. Yeah, we um, we know it covers up that a little bit, and um, we do have to have, fortunately have that logo, but we don't really have anywhere else we can put it. We put it up into the um, other corner. It can end up uh, blocking some of the kill feed, but. You obviously can't put it in the other bottom corners because you can't cover up the character emblem. You can't cover up their abilities. But I may see after this round if I can. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. If if, if it um, is that bad, I can change, try to fix it at the uh, end of the round. We're getting a pretty good damage off in that ult. Not a kill, but that was a lot of damage and heal. Steve almost having ult. Good Sigma ult. Mmm, just barely had enough Ryan shield to catch that for them. Reaper still going crazy here. Beautiful ult from Reaper. <laughs> Reaper having a bunch of amazing plays this round. Here we got Lucio ult. Still rocking that McCree ult here. We can kill those tanks. Should be nothing to really stop that McCree. Ooh. Missed the McCree ult. My bad there. <laughs> Victory. Alright, looks like first round goes to FSCC.
There's that McCree. With the play of the game I missed right here. TJ Diane, Deanne. <laughs> yeah, um, if, it, if it actually does bother you, um, I can I can try to work the change it though. Um, I'm not the best at working the streams, but we have our uh, coach gone for this uh, stream today, so I'm kind of on my own. <laughs> All right, can do. I believe it's how I change it. Alright, there we go. Sweet. Yeah, to the Overwatch team, if you guys watch this, if you could make the plays that I miss be play of the game so I don't miss them, uh, that'd be great. <laughs> Alright, next map. Ooh, Hollywood. Hollywood's always a fun one, but... I don't know, it's nothing like, uh... I like that last map a bit more. It's a bit more in people's faces. Um, thanks, TJ, Deanne. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a little bit of fun here. I'm by myself, just going in a dark room, watching some Overwatch. Nothing, nothing better than this. Yeah, just this. They were doing a first of five today. So. We got a few more matches here to go. Ooh, already getting into it. Okay, so let's see here. Hollywood, obviously, you know, cool map because it's literally Hollywood. But I don't know, I think the last map is about prettier. You got those nice palm trees, you know, the pure white buildings, the old antique setting of it. Kind of upset we didn't get to go into a uh, third round in that first match there. I wanted to see some people fall into the pit. There's a uh, another map we never played in that uh, one map where you have a uh, pit in the center of the uh, point where you can just drag and drop people into the pit or push them in. It's really trolly. Looks like we're uh, if you get into trouble, I'll bail you out. We're running a Sombra instead of our um, McCree this round. Attackers. Sombra actually really underrated by uh, like the common player because I don't know she actually does a lot. Her ult is really deadly, being able to cancel everyone else's like abilities and ults. I'm running Anna. CRE. I wonder who Na shoot Nano. I guess Nano Sigma, but usually you want to run a uh, Anna with the Orion, because that Orion with Nano is OP. Ooh, looks like we have a Bastion right away. Always a last resort character. <laughs> Reaper getting me behind the Bastion. <laughs> just, just panned over to Reaper, just laying dead on the ground. What? See if I can get a few somber plays here and there. She's a hard one to keep track of. That was a good Moira ball absorbed by um, Sigma there, keeping. A lot of damage from hitting the team. That mortar ball does a lot. Sombra just chilling over. Oh my gosh. That was a dirty play by Sombra. Reaper, oh. Falling right into that McCree. Oh, 
Oh. Squad killed by uh, Moira over here. Okay, we got. We have a full. Oh, no, we have three of the uh, six. We got the. Uh, we can nano the Sigma though and do the Sigma ult nano. That'd be pretty cool. Mm. That could do some. The hack actually, um... Alright. Oh yeah, I it's way too dark for me. I don't even know why I have the light on though. I have the uh, camera light facing me so I can <laughs> be all bright for the camera recorder when it doesn't even work right now. But, let's see if we can get payload stopped pretty early here. That point is always a hard one, in my opinion, to defend. I just feel like there isn't enough of a choke point to really keep them from getting on you. Plus, you have to travel so far. See if I can listen for that diva bomb. Make sure that we can get that off on camera. I didn't even realize it. I, I, I didn't realize that the uh, payload on Hollywood is actually a limo. That's pretty cool. Got Sigma right here. Oh, it looked like he absorbed a lot more than that. Jeez, that good, good ult by Moira and uh, Sigma together there. That was a team kill, jeez. Moira just going off with these uh, ults. Her ult, I don't even know how, but it just seems like Moira always has the ults. No matter what game you play, Moira just does so much DPS that she can just get her ult so fast. Yeah, it's like one ball getting like 15% there. <laughs> he was barely escaping that uh, junk rat. That was this fast reaction there. Looks like we're switching our, um, is that our Sombra? Yeah, we switched our Sombra over to a uh, Soldier, which is Soldier ult. It's actually really good. Sigma holding him off pretty well here. The heels are doing. Oh, almost hit the rock there. Payload, payload's not moving. I mean, we're doing pretty good here. McCree running away there. Probably could have finished McCree with a front for a punch, maybe, but. Oh, geez, I don't even know what happened there. We got Diva ult ready, though. Oh, let's hit that sleep. Free for top on the roof there. Um, that Zara just. Good little old combo there. Might not have got killed there, but that, uh, Definitely drove them away from the point, which is all we really needed there. Stop their momentum. That's the best thing about the Diva ult. Even if the Diva ult can't even... Because sometimes they won't get a kill, especially when they're rocking a bunch of tank characters. With, uh, shields. Uh, that Diva ult will still always, you know, drive them away. Because no one wants to be in the middle of a Diva ult, for sure. And it just gives us back the momentum. Reaper taking down that, uh, Anna Charge, uh, Ryan pretty well. If Reaper wasn't in that point there, he would have. That probably would have been a little issue. 
pretty good stop there. Um, one point's not that bad to deal with. Start the belly one. Zero to one. All right. Let's see what to push they're thinking up here. I'm predicting they'll probably go a. Uh... Oh man, I know they're probably gonna stick up Reaper. I don't know if they're gonna change anything up here. And you can see something like a maybe a Symmetra if they want to be cheeky with that and <laughs> do the old Symmetra TP. I have no idea who a thousand paper planes is. I don't know if that's one of us or <laughs> Thanks for watching Thousand Paper Planes. There is no obligation Dad bro in chat. The universe to make sense to you. It is not my preference to see to matters personally, but I will see them done. Commences in 30 seconds. Bastion, alright. See I was just, I was expecting something cheeky, but I wasn't expecting the Bastion there. I'm surprised they're not running the uh, Mercy or yeah Mercy with that. Usually I see the team run a uh, Mercy and Bastion and get that, you know, damage boost out of. That damage boost is dirty. Oh, changing over to the Reaper. That's probably smart. If it works, don't switch it, you know. They're rocking Bastion again, getting a lot of ult charge there. Oh my gosh. Bringing uh, Sigma's health all the way up to 750 there. That's crazy. Get a little bit of a uh, McCree action here. I haven't been uh, getting much on uh, Reflex Fire since that. Sixty-nine percent. Nice. Having high noon here. That passion is not healing at all. That Ryan. I don't know where that Ryan came from. Jesus. Um. Wow. Ooh. Seven viewers. Man, I'm. I'm never this popular. Jeez. Um. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching the stream, guys. We uh, are currently in round two right now. Um, we're dealing with a uh, Bastion and Ryan combo that's a little hard to mess with. But we're hoping that once we get a few ults, it won't be that big of a deal. The Bastion likes to shoot, even through shields, and gives a lot to our uh, Sigma. Our. Uh, the two guys right behind him. Well, McCree's behind, and he's got his ult ready. So is uh, Lucio. I'm expecting this uh, McCree ult to be beautiful. Ooh. That's the perfect time I needed right there. Oh, the sleep. See the tumbleweed just catch him out. I'm waiting for the old mother ult. Yeah, this is it. This is the push we need. Okay, it's a good thing we got the uh, Bastion out as soon as that ult went off. Because uh, when you get pushed in the air by Sigma, the Bastion just gets to have a free target on you. It's kind of unfair. They're still holding pretty well here, though. Bastion coming in hot with his ult. Oh my god. <laughs> Diva's gotta get out of there. We can take down these, uh. uh they can take down this, uh. Um, Ryan here. They're gonna have a pretty easy time using their Rip Tire and Diva Bomb. Diva getting all her ult charge back from behind. Pretty good spot for her. Is that ours? Uh, 
there. I like how I freaked out about getting all my um, esports gear on just so I could uh, make sure I look appropriate for the stream, even though the stream's not even here. Yeah, <laughs> Bastion just sits there and takes it. Oh, that was a good absorb there. That nano. I want to say they need something really for that Bastion, because that Bastion, the team wasn't really all the Bastion, it was the team that was built around the Bastion. Um, and it would be a good plan for there. I mean, they have the Reaper. Reaper's probably one of the best choices against the Bastion, just being able to teleport right on top of them, taking them out in three hits. But, um,. Good play of the game there. Um, oh. well, let's see what map we go here. See if the Bastion goes, um, or the team goes Bastion again. I don't know. Um, probably expect a flyer from our team, probably the counter. It is what counts. You're right. Thank you. Just sucks that I'm uh, so glad not very intelligent with the streaming. Um, all right, let's go ahead and change the score. Currently, uh, it's uh, one to one. Fort Scott and uh, Barton Community College. Oh, we're going to Hanamara. I hope I said that right. But this map is pretty cool. Um, it's another one of these, uh, capture the points, but this time it's, uh, you capture one point and then you have to go capture the next one. So it's a, a two point capture map. Uh, got a really good hold on the second point. The first point, I feel like it's pretty easy to get into, but uh, we'll have to see what happens. I don't see them being able to defend very well the first point with the Bastion, but that second point, Bastion, Bastion going to be such a problem because all he has to do is go right outside the spawn door on the second point. And you can just keep coming back and spamming. Traveling to <laughs> oh, maps are so pretty. Oh, is this even the right spot I was thinking of? I don't think it is. No, I think this is the correct uh, mode for this map I was thinking it was going to be. The true nope, it's the right map. Yeah, this, um, we got that sim. This is like my favorite play to do with uh, Symmetra. You just, uh, sim right behind the point and it's just, I don't know, no one expects a, a sim teleport on this map. A lot of maps have like areas perfect for a sim teleporter and some people expect it. Like the uh, one snow map, I forget its name. But uh, on this map, you can still get right behind all the team and it's a pretty good idea here because I guarantee that that Bastion is going to be set up uh, trying to gun down the team there. And if she can get the team behind the, um, behind the Bastion, then that point is pretty well ours. We also have that Echo, which is a good choice at the backup, because that Echo is a really good person for fighting the Bastions. Um. Alright. Pretty good teleport spot right there. Look at that. See what I said? Right behind the Bastion. Works perfect. That was a really good plan. Um, go Symmetra there. Got this. We 
Thank you. getting pretty close, but getting the kill there. Ah, oh, isn't that's just the best idea there? Now I usually don't like to uh, use the sim teleporter on that left side, but I feel like that's what the team would probably do here. Which I mean, it works out, but usually when you do that sim teleporter, a lot of teams predict that you're probably going to try to go that left side, just because like you know you just teleported. But um. I don't know. I, I bet the team switched off Bastion. Cool to see. Yeah, see? Okay. Oh, the Reaper getting our sim there. That's kind of an, the issue. Um, sim is really good for taking out those tanks. Oh, getting a... Getting hit by that rock with the uh, our sim there, not being able to absorb all those bullets from their bastion this is a really big hurt for us. Okay, we have Sigma ult ready. Symmetra ult's almost done. That should be. I mean, Symmetra only needs like three or four more hits. She gets her ult. I think. I think it's probably the fastest charging ult in the game. If I'm not sure, maybe Widowmaker's damage wise, but um, let's face it, Widowmaker's ult's worthless. <laughs> There's no point in that. Sorry to any Widowmaker mains out there who might be watching, but Widowmaker's definitely good, like, you play Widowmaker great and you're set forever. Oh, that was a good combo there. Uh, um, see if we can take down these. Good absorb there. Who's on point? We got our Sim and D.Va. Oh, this is it. Yeah, Sim. That bashing just went right into the point. That was pretty smart. That was a good old combo. Um, we'll have to watch and see if they try the Sim strat. What I've found a lot of times in playing um, games is if you're playing against a really good Symmetra, the teams will always almost almost always just switch to another Symmetra to counter it because there isn't really much you can do. I mean, a Pharah is really good for a Symmetra just because of how um, all of Pharah's abilities are exp um, explosion and like radius and stuff. And it makes it really hard for a Symmetra to put down teleporters and turrets because Symmetra can just blow them up or a uh, Pharah can just blow them up. But. Oh, geez. This, this could end up a little bit different here because um, they could just do the same thing we did to them, but we have also a Symmetra on our team. Like I said, a lot of Symmetras will go to Symmetra to counter Symmetra. A lot of words said there. <laughs> but um, you can just, with having your own Symmetra, they can't really get behind you as much. And plus, we can get back to the fight easier if they do get behind us. Why oh, didn't they just shoot through that crack of the rock there? Makes sense. And now we're going the uh, Mercy boost here. I want to watch the Bastion, but Sigma's up front right now. Jeez. Look at that. Already, already at 70% ult. That's Bastion for you. Oh my god. That was crazy. Yeah, that, that is a little bit of an issue there with the uh, Bastion. I mean, it's not too bad since they literally cannot get past this old right here unless they uh, went through that top corner. Um, but we're not having as much healing on the people in the front. And when the um, tanks and DPS die besides the Bastion, they just leave that Bastion wide open. They're getting sniped or... Like, see, the Sigma on the team can just walk right up and get like a thousand shield or something crazy like that. The good thing he didn't get that, uh, Ryan Nano inside the point. Oh, we're running about Baptista's game. That's pretty cool. 
That that was a actually perfect timing ult right there with the. Uh, everyone saw. I don't think we played the game because just there's so many other kills going on right now. But um, that Baptiste used his ult, and right be right after that the. Uh, Bastion went right behind in his, with his ult and got two shots off in that uh, Baptiste force field, I should say. I don't even know how much. It probably did like 500 damage a shot. He just still got Diva Bomb, and I think they have Sigma. Yeah, they have Sigma ult. Sigma ult. Oh, that was a really nice clip there. If Bastion's doing enough damage. I feel like 1600 wouldn't it be even. I feel like the Ryan Shield would break faster than that. I don't even understand. I don't even know how many times this Bastion's reloaded his clip. We got a minute and 17 seconds left to hold here. This is round three of the um, best of five game. Time to raise my APS. For uh, we have new people here. Anyone uh, wondering where the casters are for the uh, not why you can see my face? Uh, we're having issues with the cam today, so uh, we're not un we're unable to show um, our reactions. I guess should I should say, but we have our um, audio, and it's just me giving the uh, Overwatch today. Let's get you back out there. Let's even get this. Oh, uh, Rez still has eight seconds. Fine. With that Sim teleporter, we can get back pretty quick. Yep. Yeah. And they have time for one more push on us. Sigma absorbing quite a few hits there, too. That uh, D.Va on their team fed him pretty well. Oh, and there's the uh, Baptiste with the uh, Bastion again. So deadly. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't really see Baptiste in this team much. It's pretty cool they ran him. That's where the, uh, yeah. So much damage. Seventeen kill streak from Diva. Oh, that's pretty rare to uh, see a Symmetra that has. The um, kills, and instead of kill participation, it usually shows uh, century turret kills. Usually, like, Symmetra gets like 50 kills, and then you see 49 kills or century turret kills, is how it usually goes. <laughs> yeah, Bastion's built different. Alright, that makes it uh, Forge Scott 2 and Art and Community College 1. Could be over in the next match, but we'll see. Best of five, first three. Wonder what Apple goes, son. Beer bro, turning, tuning in to. Uh, <laughs> Watch the stream a little bit. Going pretty good. Seeing a lot of uh, big plays, honestly. Seems every time they get the advantage on us, we get some 4K or 5K for someone.
just watch a team pick like a Widowmaker next round, just go off. Best Widow you ever see. <laughs> Welcome to Rialto. Okay. Alright, looks like we're running on... What is this map? Uh... Alright, it's not showing me it yet. Looks like the push the payload map though. Oh yep. We're, uh, I'm not I'm not saying the name of this map. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not I'm not even gonna attempt it. <laughs> like France, France or Paris or something like this. And uh, it's a push the payload map. And everyone is wondering. It's actually got a. Uh, I don't know, you can't really say this map's really good for defending or attacking. I feel like it's better on the attacker side. But then again, there are a lot of really nice choke points in this map. It's this one I feel like is one of the more even maps for sure. Pretty well designed. Five, four, three, two, one. They're rock, rocking a uh, Reaper and Soldier for this one. Never really like a soldier. I mean soldier's great. I'll just always maybe feel like I was running like recruit in Rainbow Six or always thought that uh, Soldier was just like, a basic guy and there's like nothing cool about him, but he actually has a lot of good abilities. And that ult is really good. Jeez, 800 shield. I don't even know how that Bastion cleaned him up so fast. Reaper getting some good kills here. Bastion against the world. Repositioning. Kill him. <laughs> good. Ooh, good dodge there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying that word. <laughs> Riolto? I have no idea. Heck, I'm the same guy that called uh, May Mai for the longest time. It wasn't until I joined FSCC that people told me it was different. I've been saying that in every game I've ever been in in Overwatch. I always call her um, May or uh, Mai. Like I always think the E is silent or something. Ooh. We're having a really steady push here, though. Top there. Rallying power to lower shield. Time to raise my new again. Ooh, there's some good British shades there by Sigma. For sure. Diva having our Diva bomb there. Ooh, I'm guessing we're gonna see another 4K from Moira right here. That ult's so good. Good position right now for him to use it. I don't even know what happened there. I didn't even see the enemies. <laughs> I saw a Moira and that was it. I think there's um, a bunch of enemies in the library. Surrender to 
get our final final push here is what we need. All right, we got the diva bomb. Rock the diva bomb. Just, just chuck it for fun. There we go. I mean, yeah, there's the name, but like, I wasn't really too upset about the names until I heard um, when Echo came out, and Echo would take the ability of a bridge, and it, it would say um, Brigate or something. I would call it Bridget. A lot of people would call her Brigitte. But it's, I guess, apparently Brigate. All right, preparing our defenses here. Rocking Echo. Echo and uh, Fair are so good, but I just I can't get the hang of flyers. Echo, I'm a lot better with than Farah, but I am not accurate with her. You give me an affair on Farah fight, and I'll take 45 minutes for I land my shot on that Farah. <laughs> Sucks because Echo's one of the characters that I really want to have a lot of screen time on, and so does Sigma. But both of them, we don't have our um, hotkeys set up for some reason um, on this computer, so we can't just switch between players with the uh, F1, F2, F3 buttons. I have to switch manually with the keyboard or uh, the mouse pad. And it's. makes it a little bit harder to find the plays I'm looking for. But we're having a really good push here. Uh, Looks like they're running Bastion with two shield characters in front of them. Um, it's gonna be up to Reaper to probably take him out. Gone. And here comes the payload of death. <laughs> the old pirate ship. Murray rocking. Good hits right there. Mm. Ryan getting me in out there. That Lucio getting a little, uh, a little cocky there. Lucio is always a pain to kill, though. Lucio can always just run circles with his healing. It's not too worried about. We're not to the uh, stop yet. There's a really good stop we can get on this map somewhere. Coming up. Getting the uh, dash in there. Is ready. Let's kill. My is I cast this forth. That Bastion just gives so much charge. It's a good choice by the team to switch over with Azara. Uh, good job, Ripper. I don't know if it was smart enough for the uh, Reaper to not use ult there, but I think I think it worked out because 
as you can see, the team was uh, separated from the Bastion. And so, worst either case scenario, he could go up and use his ult on the Bastion, which he didn't need to, as you saw. Or he could have went down below and used his ult and the Bastion would have just killed him. My ultimate is ready. We have uh, four or five ults here. He did so much damage. Ooh, Moira escaping that pretty well. Got the soldier running. <laughs> They're getting pushed back pretty far here. Having a good stop. Once that uh, Bastion can't get on the pit. The issue with um, running that Bastion strat is you have to try to get there in that one push because it's really good once you get set up with it. Mm. I should have clipped the Bastion. Um... Like that right there is a good example though. When you get the Bastion set up and put everything around the Bastion, uh -uh. then yeah, that Bastion's gonna slay, but you have to like turn, you have to make your team based completely around using Bastion for that to be good. Like normally in quick play or in low, low rank, uh, ranked matches with just randoms and stuff, a lot of people just go bashed and thinking that they can do a lot of damage. But um, when your team's not trying to support you, it uh, can be really hard sometimes. Either way here, we still have the uh, time advantage, so it's going to be too much to worry about. Um, teams are looking both pretty evenly matched on this point here, but we have that time advantage. It could really help us out. Sigma getting almost 400 to the charge right there. Activating the barrier. Oh, take out that bastion. There we go. Yes, and the rip tire. That's what I was looking for. Ah, oh. beautiful, beautiful fog right there, guys. I knew as soon as that Zara ult went down, I'm like, wait, did we use that repair yet? And I was fiddling as fast as I could with the controls to try to find where uh, Junkrat was. Barely caught it. Good heals there. Banana. Come on, Forge Guy, you got it. Oh, don't let that Bastion go. There you go. minute 30 left. Let's get decide the game here. The power of destruction. Let's follow you guys in the uh, Twitch chat with hard to read names. <laughs> Bing Soy. Oh, clipped him. Mm. There we go. That was actually pretty cool. You, um, I didn't really catch it very well for you guys there, but I believe what happened was after the Sigma ult, they uh, made them proc their Lucio ult, which uh, they all ran upstairs and Reaper was waiting upstairs to use his ult on them. Ugh, a little tongue twister there. We got Anna's ult there. I'm wondering if it'll Nana boost. Usually you want to Nana boost the tanks, but we'll see. Oh, I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's happy to get mana boosted. Um, the Anna there was actually trying to do the nano boost on the uh, Zara, but I'm sure uh, her Gwen is very happy with that. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Oh geez, they switched over the monkey. Oh, 
Come on, we can we can stop them. Reaper getting that oil off probably into the game. Yeah, I think Reapers are only what we have right now. That's close to finished. And monkey just gave it to him. Do it. Yeah. All you need to see at the end was that Reaper. That's round three, guys. Fort Scott Community College wins three to one against Barton Community College. Play of the game. Hog, the 5K. Good job, team. We, uh, get there. Oh, almost got the full board. 48 eliminations with Sigma. Dang. Um, thank you for everyone coming in today. That was a, uh, a big, big show up for us, actually. And I'm pretty happy. Uh, we appreciate everyone who came to watch the stream. Hope you guys come. Uh, we should have the cams working for all the other streams from now on. Uh, tune in tomorrow for the Smash Bros. stream if you're interested. Uh, hope everyone has a good night and I'll see you guys next stream.